Welcome, dear viewers, to Celestial Chronicles. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey through the ancient texts of the Book of Daniel. Buckle up, because we're about to unravel prophecies, courage, and divine intervention. Let's dive in. Daniel 1-6 is set in exile. The Babylonian rulers, presuming to be in charge of the affairs of the world, challenge the faith of Daniel and his three fellow Judeans. Readers are to be encouraged because of the examples of God's care for Daniel and his friends during their ordeals. Daniel 7-12 depicts both the hardship to be experienced by those who will live after Daniel and the actions of rulers who reign after the Babylonians. The final scenes shift to Palestine, the violence escalates, and rulers directly assault the people of God. Each vision ends with the affirmation that God will prevail, evil will not have the last word. The book of Daniel primarily offers encouragement. It steers clear of admonishing tones, opting instead to uplift. The initial chapters provide inspiring examples of steadfast bravery, meant to bolster those who might find themselves navigating the tumultuous future depicted in the latter chapters. Despite the complex and varied nature of the visions, they consistently conclude with a hopeful message, evil is finite, and ultimately, God's kingdom will triumph. Why is Daniel so important? The book of Daniel is distinctive in the Bible as it unfolds during a time of divine judgment, set in a land not its own. It presents a stark contrast, the prevalent idolatry of the culture versus Daniel's steadfast devotion. The narrative of Nebuchadnezzar's pride and subsequent divine chastening further highlights this dichotomy. Against the canvas of paganism, the sovereignty and might of the Lord are dramatically displayed, distinguishing the book within the biblical texts. Daniel consistently affirms the sovereignty of the true God over all creation, as stated in Daniel 4 verse 17, asserting his ultimate authority even amidst despair and the dire repercussions of sin. What's the big idea? The book of Daniel stands as a unique mix in the Old Testament, for while it begins with history, it makes a strong transition at chapter 7, where it contains visions of future events significant to the Jews. In particular, Daniel 9 verses 24 to 27 gives a meticulous timeline of when Israel's Messiah would appear and the events that would follow. In both the historical and the prophetic sections, Daniel presents a strong case for the absolute sovereignty of God, even over a multiplicity of self-absorbed foreign powers. This theme of sovereignty occurs on numerous occasions, including Daniel's deliverance from the lion's den, his friend's rescue from the fiery furnace, and the future arrival of the Ancient of Days to save his people from the forces of evil. Who wrote the book? The book of Daniel takes its name from its author, who lived during the time of the Babylonian exile. As a young man, Daniel was among a group of Israelite nobles taken captive to Babylon. The conquering power saw potential in these young men and put them into service, Daniel 1 verses 3 to 4. Upon his arrival in Babylon, Daniel was given the new name, Belteshazzar, to better assimilate him into his new home, 1 colon 7. Throughout the 70-year captivity of the Jews, Daniel remained in Babylon, 121, 9:2. His rise to prominence was remarkable, he became one of only three administrators overseeing provincial governors in the entire kingdom, 6 1. Daniel chronicled his experiences and prophetic visions during his time in the Babylonian capital. His close association with the king granted him privileged access to the highest echelons of society. Despite living in a foreign land with a different culture, Daniel remained faithful to the Lord. His unwavering commitment sets him apart as one of the few figures in scripture with an entirely positive record of actions. Where do I find it? In the Christian canon, Daniel is the 27th book. It follows Ezekiel and the major prophets and precedes Hosea and the minor prophets. When was it written? The date of composition is intertwined with the question of authorship. Daniel 7 to 12 envisions history well into the future, reflecting broadly the succession of empires after the exile and specifically the rule of Antiochus for Epiphanes, 175 to 164 BCE. The extensiveness and general accuracy of the depictions of the actions of Antiochus for Epiphanes has led many to conclude that the final composition dates from late in his reign. However, the depiction of his death does not readily square with the actual events and has led to the conclusion that the book was completed shortly before his death. Such dating understands Daniel 1-6 as traditional stories cited as encouragement for enduring persecution under Antiochus for Epiphanes. The alternative is to regard the book as written by Daniel in the exile to report his own experience and to predict the distant future. What's IT about? Daniel and three friends persist in their faith despite threats created by several foreign rulers whom they serve with dedication. They are a model of fidelity for those who must endure the future events Daniel's visions depict. The God they confess will be the one who will deliver the faithful throughout history, no matter how evil forces rage. Daniel and his God-fearing friends were forced to live in Babylon, far from home and far from the land their Lord had promised them. Later in the book, Daniel prophesied of terrible trials still to come in the promised land, 
Daniel 11 verse 31. Whatever the trial was, though, it was always the result of sin. Have you ever endured the weight or consequences of sin and felt as though God had left you behind, that he had stranded you in a world far from the comforts associated with home? The book of Daniel paints a portrait of how to serve God faithfully in the middle of such a world and how to persevere in hope even with no immediate solutions to the problems that get us down. As we conclude our exploration of Daniel, remember this, life can sometimes feel like a Babylonian exile, far from home, filled with trials, and seemingly abandoned. But here's the twist, even in the darkest moments, God's hand is at work. Daniel and his friends stood firm, unwavering in their faith. They faced fiery furnaces, lion's dens, and the weight of sin. And guess what? They emerged victorious. So, my fellow travelers, when life throws its curveballs, cling to hope. God's promises endure. Evil won't have the last word. Now, let's discuss, have you ever felt stranded in a world that seemed devoid of comfort? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, keep seeking truth, keep trusting, and keep your eyes on the celestial horizon.